Hello Libra, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling magnificent. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, welcome back. Thank you very much. Now Libra, your time is very valuable. I definitely honor that. So let's get straight into it. Let's jump straight in. As I always say, let's dive in head first. I'll clear the deck for you. And Libra, I want to focus on your person of interest. So this could be someone that you are already romantically linked to. It could be someone that you were romantically linked to. So an ex, you're not with that person anymore. This could also pertain to a family member, a friend, a work colleague. So your person of interest, the one that is, you could say, dominating your heart space at the moment, or they're just really like living rent free at the back of your mind. So for the collective watching this, because it cannot resonate with all the Libras in the world, only those that I suppose are watching this and uh, the collective, as I say, that's the intention that I put out. Let's get some clarity, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's get some information, insight, and of course your confirmation. And I say that because Libra, if there is anyone that knows more about your person and the situation is you. So let's get some confirmation of what you already know to be true or what your intuition is telling you. Here we go. So it's definitely my job to confirm probably that which uh, you have not said to anyone or what you know. So one more, please. I know there's a lot of shuffling here, but um, I uh, always listen to my spirit team. They tell me when to stop shuffling. Libra, please. And their person of interest, everything and anything that Libra should know about, please, for their highest good. Whoa, and their absolute highest good. So we've got two cards that came upright. And we'll leave them right there. Two more. Last one. All right, here we go. So before I see the bottom of this deck, it's like I want to scatter everywhere. We had these cards that came out and you absolutely had the most beautiful cards, the Empress and the Ace of Cups. So we have very strong um, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. This is like literally the best combination you can get. Matters of the heart when it comes to your person of interest. Now I must say for those that are wanting children or wanting to get pregnant, this combination is so strong that I really, it, there's no other way to put this, but I am seeing a very safe, successful pregnancy. And with the Ace of Cups in terms of gender, Sometimes it can point to having perhaps a girl. When we have the Ace of Wands, obviously it's a boy. Um, that's just a side note here. But um, yeah, it's, it's actually looking quite promising. I mean, if we really analyze this, you got the most abundant card, the most fertile card, the most creative card. And you also got the card of true love. How beautiful is this? So it seems here with your person of interest, you might be taking this to the next level because this on its own means really strong commitment, engagement, marriage, children, a lot of emotional healing as well. There is so much love here for you, Libra, that you have also for them that the water that represents your emotions is overflowing here. Wow. Now, this also means giving birth to this connection once more. So let's see where this is all falling into. I love this energy. I hope it stays this way. Bottom of the deck, yeah, we've got the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone that wants to commit to you. They want to take it to the next level. Look at that. How beautiful is that? This is definitely someone that is uh, very grounded, very mature energy here as well. Um, they might have children with like, in other words, they have their own children or children between the both of you or you're planning that here as well. Um, and it's all about security, stability, commitment, marriage. This is someone that looks at you and they're generous with their money um, and making you feel special only with the people that they love. This is beautiful. What else? The Eight of Pentacles. Dare I say some of you, Virgo energy here, probably work with this person. This definitely could be um, a work colleague, could be a boss here, for example, could even be a, um, a client, like a customer, for example. But regardless, even if this person is not related here to your work, this is putting in the hard work and the effort. This is what your person sees. This is how they feel when they look at you, Libra. I want to put in the hard work where they know that action speaks louder than words. This is nice. This is someone redeeming themselves saying, look, you know what, Libra, give me this chance. Or you know what, if you put me in charge, we're going to 
this all this is going to happen here this is beautiful king of swords that's aquarius energy could also be i felt like libra or gemini now i'm i, I would usually say that i'm seeing two people here but um i'm not because this is your person of interest this will directly impact you in a very positive way because the king of swords because that's your energy i mean it is mainly aquarius but we do have libra and gemini there you are looking to the past so you have history with this person this definitely could be an ex just you know this person this is definitely not a stranger what i'm seeing here is that you will definitely be on the receiving end of them telling you the truth their feelings how they want to work on this take it to the next level here could even be a proposal marriage but you also have a lot that you want to tell to say to this person as well the sword is pointing up and you're all about telling the truth about balancing the scales here so I'm, I'm seeing a really beautiful conversation. Look at that. I'm seeing a beautiful conversation here. Yeah, you can put your walls down. It's fine. Things are going to work out. You got the Ace of Swords. That's you right there. It's the start of something magnificent. And it's all about clarity. It's breaking away, cutting away, really. You know, all the past pain or past illusions, assumptions here. This is beautiful. This is literally the chance to take this connection to the next level. How beautiful is this? So some, some of you definitely know this person at work. Some are in a professional setting. And um, others of you, well, you know, regardless, even if you didn't meet them at work, the outcome is still the same. It is beautiful. Let's get to the head reading. What do we have? Is the chariot, cancer energy. Now this is the fastest moving energy in the entire deck. There's nothing faster than the chariot. So you've got the most abundant card. You've got the true card of love. You've got the fastest energy. So everything's kind of coming together. And it will directly impact you in a beautiful way. This is your person coming towards you. They want to move forward and move away, perhaps from if there was any disharmony, any balance. Even if your person is at a long distance, they're still coming towards you and they want this to be successful. Why? Because they're sure about you. They know what they want and they want you. Mm. All right, let's move on. Beautiful. Love it. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces okay all right we've got the queen looking to the past here mm -hmm. i know that definitely this person coming towards you your person of interest wants this next level this conversation you know this this level of clarity to be successful and it will be i don't know sometimes how else to put it the love that this person has for you and i really love how you're all about really taking care of yourself but in saying that libra you know with the people that you love you take care of them as well you put your heart and soul into this and your person is recognizing this more please queen of swords Ooh. gemini libra aquarius that's you right there look wow this this is amazing this is really good i've got clearly we're seeing a really important conversation is going to offer clarity now the fact that um, we are seeing two kings now and we are seeing two queens, I really didn't want to go that way, but I think both of you are moving away from any interference and any third party situation, which tells me as a reader that you are both on the right path. You're both on track here. But I just feel this conversation here because the king and the queen of swords are all about communication. They're all about clarity and saying the truth, even the hard truths. And it's going to happen. Absolutely. This is, wow. Okay, more please. I can't wait to clarify these. Yeah, the Nine of Swords, Gemini Energy. I think here that your person is desperate to come towards you because there is one A, well, A, <laughs> one A. There is a guilty conscience here, which is why there is that need, that necessity, that desperation, that rush to come um, towards you, offer you their cup of love and talk to you here. Maybe the timing wasn't right in the past there was something perhaps it was even work that was in the way it was distance or you know perhaps you were with someone or they were with someone you know when it's like the right person the wrong time here um because this is all about feeling quite lonely your person is actually very lonely here without you and there's a lot of regret here guilt seeks punishment they're feeling quite guilty here as well perhaps that they let you go or you know they, they're really kind of recognizing what should have been the potential of this connection what could have been Mm, the hands are tied up here. They may have felt quite restricted or held back due to their circumstances in the past, though. Let's talk about the um, the beating heart of the reading. Now, this will often represent mutual energies of how you both feel or what you both want. Let's see. What do we have? 
yep, we've got judgment. Scorpio energy, this is the card of resurrection. It's bringing something back to life. But this time, as I can see, it's going to be better than ever. It has to be. I mean, that combination is absolutely beautiful. I'm actually going to take the Ace of Swords because I keep going back to it. But you are each other's perfect match and communication is what will offer that clarity. I'm seeing here that both of you, you and your person have had big epiphanies, like major spiritual awakenings where now Libra, you look back and you can, your eyes are open and you can see things in its raw state and your person's doing exactly the same. But there is something here that is kind of like, major regret you know there's a lot of mental anguish that your person is regretting it's like you know that should have would have could have if only this if only i did this there's no better time than now isn't there excellent you've got the world we have taurus leo aquarius scorpio um your person can be any star sign but having this is considered a really good omen a really good sign it's the card of graduation of celebration we pat yourself on the back you both learn big lessons here and it's the end of a tough cycle. But in saying that, regardless if you're at a distance or not, this is a brand new cycle. We're starting on a clean slate. And this time, I have to say it on very rare circumstances, a 2.0 version of a relationship is possible. Like I literally, I would go back to this person or at least make amends, take it to the next level. Look what we have. You got one of my favorite tens, a 10 of cups, Pisces energy. Again, a strong card of reconciliation. Your person misses you. Even if they bailed out, if they said no, whatever reason why you both went your separate ways, this is haunting them at night. They want reconciliation. You're happily ever after. When that rolls over, we get the ace. See, it keeps getting better. I'm definitely seeing that there is children for the vast majority of you, either between the both of you or you have, or they have children. We have a beautiful blended family here. What else do we have in the near future? Your person will be reaching out to you. Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. You have to definitely um, acknowledge is that you got the fastest moving energy and the second fastest moving energy. So if you haven't seen your person in a while, you haven't spoken to them or you haven't been on the same page, whatever's been happening, if it's been flatlined, this is a sudden flurry of movement, of activity. It's quick, rapid movement. It's nothing you can't handle, Libra. It's meant to be, it's rushing literally towards you. Your person is coming to resurrect this. This is all communication. And in a very lighthearted manner, I always say, if you definitely wanna hear from your person, charge your phone, keep it near because it will be lighting up. We definitely have incoming, outgoing, incoming, outgoing messages and so forth. You know, we got emails, text messages, FaceTime, phone calls, all of that. Cupid's arrow, love messages. How beautiful is that? In the outcome, yet yeah, we've got that beautiful equal give and take. Look at that. The six of um, pentacles, Taurus energy. And we've got the scales perfectly balanced now. And I love the sixes because it's all about healing, equal give and take here as well. And I have to say this, when we talk about your person's intentions, the fact that I see the six of pentacles anywhere in the spread, they are coming back with very good intentions. You got a lot of major arcanas and that's a very good sign here. Definitely expect a gift. And I'm seeing, you know, almost like this wreath reminds me of Christmas. So regardless if you celebrate, you know, Christmas or the holidays, it, it doesn't matter. I'm seeing here that there will be a gift that will be sent to you. I'm seeing you receiving it. Um, it's a beautiful token of love. And I think it's something quite sentimental here as well. But this is, yes, this is, uh, yes, equal give and take. Let's meet in the middle. <laughs> Judgment again. I haven't even shuffled it. This is beautiful. Let's clarify these cards. I'm. This is like, I have to say, this is the beginning of something absolutely magical between you and your person. And there's a lot of, I'm hearing the word, there's a lot of confession, um, a lot of, you know, confessing of the feelings here. I'm hearing someone says, I've always liked you, or I've always loved you, I've always admired you. And for, you, for those that you know, this is your ex. I've never stopped loving you. There wasn't a day never went by that I, you know, that I, I wasn't thinking about you. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. Remember the Ace of Cups wanted to, um, how it flipped over? Another different deck. Where there is an ending, there's a beginning. Look at that. Wow. Six of Pentacles again. This is getting creepy in a good way. I'm getting goosebumps here. My Lord, everything is pointing. This is going to be a successful brand new beginning. Two more. 
last one here we stay there go let's do this correctly all right so the fact that we got the ace of cups twice with member the um the empress everything's pointing to a brand new beginning with this person and it's literally falling in love all over again how beautiful is that what is that else is at the bottom of the deck when it comes to your person of interest please <laughs> we got the lovers gemini energy it's about choices soulmate connection it's choosing to love each other this is mutual love mutual respect here i think you both want this and it's gonna happen transformation we got death card now that is scorpio energy so yes i'm seeing here that something ended here between the both of you but this is the card of fate the 2.0 version where we have to shed our old self because this is all also about rebirth here transformation coming out on the other side better than ever the queen of pentacles see how you keep getting your perfect match but you're not on the same page yet so you've got the king and the queen of pentacles you also have the queen and the king of swords you're not on the same spread because for me this has not happened yet no nope. definitely couldn't have been a third party yep look at that they're reaching out first to you two of wands aries energy and the page of pentacles that is capricorn energy could be a taurus or a virgo but it's very strong capricorn and obviously they want to see you face to face something small at the start even though they're coming with this really grown up mature energy which i absolutely love you could say like you know boss energy regardless of gender it's something small at the start such as let's meet for a coffee and i think that's when they might give you something physical a gift here i think they're feeling quite generous here let's talk about the chariot the world twice enough said you are really mirroring each other now they're coming towards you for a brand new cycle that's what they want and it's all pointing to you let's talk about the queen of cups the nine of swords you are so i think both of you are really just missing each other you're both regretting you're both in regret you're both perhaps even losing sleep you both want you are mirroring each other like it is you know this kind of reminds me of the reading i did for cancer where they were completely mirroring each other and i'm seeing that both of you are also mirroring each other and if anything your person is regretting that they didn't offer you that cup sooner wow this is amazing the queen of swords is clarified by the four of pentacles yes yeah, so you've been holding back a form of self-protection that's the four of pentacles that is ruled by capricorn but it is also on top of your energy you've been holding back your person's been holding back here the four of pentacles kind of shows that in due time um it is safe for you to lower your walls that both of you will be getting out of that nine of swords energy here that's just mental anguish there it's nervous energy it's anxiety if not depression feeling quite lonely here as well um and i think yeah you may be holding on to that perhaps you'll be afraid that if it happens again what if i get hurt again what if i get left behind again i don't want to feel lonely um but yeah i think in due time here yeah you're going to express all your concerns and that's beautiful we need to express our fears and our wishes here let's talk about that nine of swords again is the three of pentacles capricorn energy so definitely there could have been um a third party at work for example um maybe you know you're at work you're not allowed to date each other or there was someone here that was in the middle regardless i'm just picking up that the timing was not right so if you were committed they were committed here as well um it just wasn't right no not at all that's why death is saying you know it's fate destiny it's saying now is the time and both of you are in a much more better state of mind than you were before that's face-to-face -face meetings it's being on the same team and working towards resurrection let's clarify that card yep the knight of wands Sagittarius Leo Aries energy this is my call to action night it is also my traveling night so if you are at a certain distance I see perhaps both of you at least meeting in the middle or they're at least coming towards you the knight of wands is often known as Mr or Mrs Wright the knight in shining armor yeah I'm not really getting that there's like super player energies with this person it's pretty not it's not fair to always say that about the knight of wands but I'm seeing here that they're coming with like gusto with passion you know it's almost like hurry up i need to go and um i need to go and talk to libra about this because of the world seven of cups scorpio energy definitely in the past there were some commitment issues absolutely you know perhaps your person had other options they had other things going on or there was someone already there and the same with you as well but i'm seeing also that your person is doing a lot of fantasizing they're projecting a lot into the future what life would look like with you with libra and it gets them excited 
I mean, we've got so many aces, you know, ace of swords, the ace of cups, the ace of cups here again. You might be feeling just a little bit, how could I say this? Um, just a, a little bit emotionally overwhelmed or even just a little bit confused. It's like, this sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? <laughs> I don't see that there is a catch here. Absolutely not. Let's talk about that beautiful um, 10 of cups. Now this is in hopes, fears and wishes. Five of cups, Scorpio energy. Wow, is your person in major regret here? So the biggest fear here is that you reject them because here they come, but there is a bit of, you're a bit of a closed book at the moment, Libra. And that could be in the form of self-protection here. You know, we want to honor our energy. We're very apprehensive of who comes back into, you know, our life and all that. But I think here, you know, you had a really good, great thing going. And the fact that if you were to say no to them, well, that's just feeling embarrassed, guilty and ashamed that, damn, I should have done this a long time ago. And Libra's got every right to say no to me. Mm. Let's talk about that eight of wands. Um, what are they going to say? Yeah, they're going to page of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've got an apology coming your way. Absolutely. We've got messages that are fueled by love. They are backed by um, emotions here and it's really heartfelt. So definitely in the near future for the collective watching this, definitely expect a heartfelt message from your person. Something that's going to pull on the heartstrings here. Wow. What do we have in the outcome? Because clearly I'm seeing here that they're, feeling, they're coming with good intentions. There definitely could be some gifts involved. Sixes are all about healing, equal give and take. What's the most likely outcome? The most probable one? The chariot. Yes, look at that. We start with the chariot. There's action for both of you and we end with the chariot. You are definitely mirroring each other. Um, if you are dealing with a Cancerian, do check that one out because it's almost identical to this one. Um, but we've got victory. The outcome is equal give and take here. Good intentions, gifts, peace, balance and harmony. And it's victorious. This 2.0 version of this relationship, this connection that you have with this person, your person of interest is, yes, it's going to work out. It's going to be better than ever. Wow. I'm really happy for you, Libra. Absolutely. You got the world twice, the ace of cups twice. You got the chariot twice, the nine of swords twice. Like you are so mirroring each other. You both want this. I just, I'm very inclined to say that the circumstances in the past were not ideal, but they are ideal now. Absolutely. They are. That's why we have death. The death card is the rebirth. Now is the time. Both of you have changed for the better. I love this Libra. As a reminder now, um, the, I, I, don't, I can't remember if I said this at the start of the video, so I apologize if I am repeating myself as a broken record. The last week of December, I will be doing your 2023 Big Energies Tarot reading. Super excited. I'll be using several different decks, so I can't wait to do that. I love this reading for you, Libra. You literally have your happily ever after, and it's going to work out for the both of you. Absolutely. I'm very confident in saying that. And I'll see you in the next couple of days with a brand new reading, fresh new topic. And I'm sending you much love wherever you are in the world. Take care. Bye.